Hello, and welcome to another episode of Reps and Cool Music. I had a nice day. I haven't gone to work today, but I went to physical therapy, so I got a bit more guidance on how to get my knee to become fully functioning. And um, I did some bicycling outside, so I got a little bit of cardio, especially uphill on my way home. So that was good. And uh, I already did a full body workout yesterday with weights. So that means there will be fewer reps at home because I'm so consistent with my work in the gym. But I'm still gonna do some reps because remember my mantra, train calves and abs every day. So I will train some calves and abs. I won't train legs today. Ugh. I have to give those legs a rest. Or, or else I will destroy them. It's like I have an injured knee after all and I'm going beast mode on my legs. I bicycle. I do squats. I do deadlifts. Not very heavy weight, but still I'm starting to add weight again. I just put on 60 kilos last time uh, on the squat. That's not a lot, D didn't feel heavy either, but I haven't lifted weight in a long time, so my muscles do get sore. And uh, I uh, lifted uh, 90 kilos on the deadlift. So it's like 130, 135 pounds and 200 pounds respectively. That's not very huge weight for deadlift and squat, but I did it for reps and I got a nice pump. And I've gotten nice pump and reps without weight, so <laughs> go figure. Adding weights can make you even sorer, but I kept my rep number a little lower. I, I kept it to like 10 reps on the squats, like f four, five sets of 10 reps, I think. And um, on the deadlift, I did five sets of five. Very easy, easy stuff. But for the cool music of the day, I will actually go for a piece that I've been practicing on the piano uh, because I've been practicing a lot. I was supposed to work out a little earlier, but I have uh, started to become increasingly better at sight reading and truly using uh, music on paper uh, to practice uh, like consistently and very disciplined mindset. And most of all, the better I get at it, the more fun it gets. So, and it's way more rewarding than any video game can ever be. Because it's a real life skill as well. And I love classical music, so what can be more rewarding than learning it? So, yes. That's why I am going... Uh, this... Uh, this tune I've been practicing on the piano, the piece I've been practicing, it, I, I recognized it when I was playing it. I'm like, haven't I heard this before? Yes, I have. I recognized it from a, from a Korean um, a Netflix series called Squid Game. It's their morning alarm. That's Haydn's trumpet concerto. Anyway, he probably has several trumpet concerto. Yes, I've checked it out on on YouTube, but it's one of them. I think it's in C major because that it was C major on the sheet music, but I don't know if that sheet music was made easier for practice example, because C major is such a simple key. But I woke up this morning and I dreamt about Wind of Change by Scorpions. I went to the piano and never played it before. I got the melody right away. And I'm like, this is in C major. I Googled it. It is in C major. So I'm like, a good day starts with perfect pitch. <laughs> okay, let's put on some music and get some uh, crunches going. Oh, at least I don't have to wake up to 
didn't have to wake up to risk dying or killing someone. Well, there is a huge price money involved though. Not worth it. <laughs> okay, let's crunch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, those abs. Oof. Josef Haydn was the mentor of uh, Beethoven and Mozart. So a lot of uh, their style has actually originated from Josef Haydn. And I can totally hear that. But I did mistake it for Mozart. I, he I heard, I heard it on the radio, and I'm like, this sounds very familiar. Isn't this Mozart? Then I remember wrong. It's Haydn. It's it, it's the it's the alarm from Squid Game. So I even started the day by hearing it on the radio, and through the various exercises in my piano book, uh, I just stumbled upon it. <laughs> Isn't that strange? Okay, okay. Let's do more. I think I will do leg raises and crunch. Um. Just to avoid copy striking, I just have to be careful with what music is playing on YouTube. But I found another one that also has been playing in Squid Game, but also in the movie 2001 Space Odyssey. The Blue Danube by, I think it's Johann Strauss or something. Oh man, <laughs> I'm in the middle of a workout, I can't even Google, but I think it's Strauss at least. I think it's Johann Strauss. Anyway, I'll confirm it later. Okay, let's go. More. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Oh god, I need a towel. For some reason, even with a shirt on? Oh, there are air pockets under my back when I do those ab exercises that uh, makes fart noises. <laughs> so I need to put a towel here. It distracts me. <laughs> I know that a true stoic shouldn't be distracted by things like that, but eh, I, I need to have full focus on my technique. So if anything takes away from my technique, it's not optimal. <laughs> so I, I like to optimize my technique. Okay, let's go. I have reached 80 reps, now 20 more. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, Ooh. oh yeah, I need to do a few more reps, now that the towel is on the floor anyway. It's beautiful, isn't it? I just looked up the Blue da Danube, that's why... And I just found a video that just says Blue Danube, that's why I said... Is it Johann Strauss? I think it is, I think I'm correct. <laughs> As a classical music connoisseur, I, I prefer being right. But I can't guarantee it all the time. <laughs> okay, let's try to do regular sit-ups where I do get up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, 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 whoa. Already done? Okay, okay. What's next? Oh, I have to avoid anything that can make me copy strike. <laughs> Just stop there. There is a lot of classical music on my playlist, but a lot of it is dangerous to play because it's like live performances by very well recognized artists. <sighs> <clears throat> Nice, there are playlists with Tchaikovsky, Ghost, Beethoven. Ah, let's put on the Beethoven. Let's hope there's nothing that makes me cough. I listened to Beethoven's fifth so many times during my workouts, so I think I will just put on one of my CDs. <sighs> let's see. Hmm. Best of Grieg. Yeah, that's nice. That's a playlist with various Grieg tunes. Starts with piano concerto in A minor. Already used this for one of my workouts before. But I just find <laughs> what 
what I feel like. Because the most important part of this is working out, but also sharing my love of music. So, let's put on some Greg. Greg said that his music is so Norwegian that it tastes like codfish. But here is the problem. I hate codfish, but I love Greg. <laughs> so... Okay. Yes! Maybe I'll try sit-ups with weight. stimulate the abs at all. I was just crunching forward and I didn't feel any activation whatsoever. Let's try the plank and let's go for some calves. I need to do this every day, that's why I can't overdo it either. So let's do the plank until I surrender. <laughs> let's enjoy the green. something consistently <sighs> stimulate not annihilate that's one of the lifter mantras that that makes you keep going every day so you don't get crazy sore but you always stimulate the muscles <sighs> okay one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, Last 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. to make it a part of your normal life and that means you can't go crazy all the time because the body is not made to be super exhausted and sore all the time <laughs> 